Hello, I'm Faith Brown. I'm the Clinical Specialist for Sunrise Medical UK and Ireland. And as part of our series on how to get the most out of your wheelchair cushion, today I'm going to talk about the most common type of wheelchair cushion, which is of course foam. Uh, this video is fairly applicable to any wheelchair foam cushion, but of course if you've got one that isn't a Sunrise Medical cushion, I'd recommend you look at the information given to you with your cushion for any uh, specifics that might deviate from what I'm about to say. With that in mind, let's get started. There's two basic types of foam, uh, closed cell, and this is the inside of a closed cell foam, uh, this is a daylight, and open cell, which I'll show you in just a moment. Probably when most of us think about foam, we think about open cell foam, uh, which acts much like a sponge. It's, it's the softer type of foam. It also absorbs moisture. Uh, and because of that, because it, it's, it's soft and comfy and there's lots of different uh, options of density and, and firmness and things like that, uh, open cell is the most commonly used in wheelchair cushions. Uh, but you often see there's some kind of technology in the cushions to protect the foam from moisture. In the case of this particular cushion, this is a Union, a J Union cushion. Uh, it has the outer cover, which is a, an air exchange type truly space material, but then also an inner cover to protect the foam from moisture. And why that matters to you is that when you're washing these covers, uh, you want to make special effort to check the condition of the inner cover, if it's starting to get cracked, uh, that's the time to replace it so that you protect the main body of the uh, cushion. Just to show you, there's, this has a visco foam uh, top layer, middle comfort layer, and a dense base layer. All of those are open cell foams. There's actually a fluid pack down inside, but you can't see it, so we won't worry about it right now. Um, another type of technology used to protect the foam of a open cell cushion might be using a coating, like in this one, this is the J Soft Combi P, and for its cover, it has a lining to help reduce the risk of moisture getting through. Same thing, you'd want to check for any kind of cracks in the coating uh, when you're laundering the covers. With a closed cell foam, uh, the nice thing about this is you could just take this in the back garden and hose it down. It would be fine uh, to do that. It's, it's really, you can actually wash the foam itself quite aggressively on these. Um, they are firmer though, which is something some people really like. It's not something that works for everybody. Uh, this one, purposefully, you see it has holes, lots of holes, uh, because it's a, a very air exchange type system. Uh, in addition to being light, it's it's designed to have a lot of airflow through. Uh, it also uses then in the cover a little extra technology. It also has 3D spacer material, but it's thicker to give just a little bit more softness and padding so that the cushion feels a bit more comfortable. In the case of all of these though, it's important that you look and see if your cushion is becoming compressed over time. A good time to check that is when the covers are off anyway, if you're popping them in the wash. Um, because foam works like a system of tiny little springs, over time they don't really bound fully to the original position. So if your cushion is looking flattened, if it was for example like this one, if it was quite flat and you got it and it's noticeably bowed, if it's feeling uncomfortable particularly, if it's feeling hard, those are all signs that it's getting towards time for replacement. Uh, you want to make sure with all of these cushions that you launder the covers regularly, there's an entire video just on washing covers. I'll pop the link in the description below if you want to have a look at that. It's also really important with these cushions, or really any cushion, that you make sure the orientation is correct in the chair so you get the benefits of the design and the contours and the materials that are in the cushion. Uh, there's also a second short little video on that. If you want to check that out, I'll pop that in the description. Uh, and that's really it for getting the most out of your cushion. They are designed to be easy maintenance, uh, but just making sure you stay on top of checking the condition will help you get the most out of them. Thank you for your time. And if you want to have a look at more information that's available on the Sunrise Medical website, there's a drop down list at the very top of the page to choose your particular country, or you can get in touch with your local mobility provider. Thank you. Bye -bye.